and we're back. It is the 15th of the 1st, 2022. I guess this is the first time you've heard from me this year. Well, it is because it's the first time I've made a video. So uh, yeah, I guess I've got some explaining to do, to do. Some of you guys have wondered where I've been. I'll let you into a secret. I've been incredibly busy for the last three weeks. So basically a man and a disabled woman got ripped off 30 grand by a builder. They called in a scaffolder, which was our buddy Andy. He called Tyler, Tyler called me. And for the last three weeks, I've been working under half a tin roof, trying to get these people in the dry. After the builder had left it in such a bad situation, that the whole house had just flooded. Yeah, it was a bit of a shit situation, to be honest with you. The lady had really bad MS, or house. So that's what I've been doing, that's what we got done. It's, uh, it's finished now, just gotta go back for one day and fit a skylight. And that's it, I haven't been out scrapping. I went out last Saturday for about an hour and a half and I did not find absolutely nothing. In fact, the only thing I've seen since the new year was a wash machine, that was down in Millbrook when I was going to pick up my mate. But I left it, I've got to say that was quite difficult. I do have some scrappy bits on board. I've got a boiler I picked up for Tyler. Uh, a few other bits and pieces off his jobs. My buddy, just down the road here, he phoned me up because he had a bunch of stuff, so I went and picked that up for him. So today, we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna try and fill up. That's right, our buddy's put some stuff out for us. That's cool. Door, door, I ain't done this in a while. Squeaky. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um. I'm afraid we're going for the pluck and chuck approach. There's no other way of doing it today. I'm afraid. Foxes here. So as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by some scrap. Let's go and see if we can find some scoops, top this van up, go and get emptied, and uh, do about a hundred miles today, pricing work. So that's gonna be fun. Oh, it's a ruddy freezer, is it? Chest freezer. I thought it was a washing machine then. I thought we were in luck, but we're not. All right, next. It's situation normal around here in Vanderland. The streets are empty. You can't poop it, you can't scoop it. If you can't scoop it, you can't film it, can you? And that is the whole point of a, uh, a street scrapping channel. You go out street scrapping and uh, you film what you pick up and that's how you get your content. There's nothing to record, you can't make a video. And this has been the problem lately. So I've never really had to go out and try and make content. I've just gone out, put a camera on my face and you guys have basically seen what I've been doing and what I've been picking up. But when uh, when there's nothing to pick up, it's kind of difficult to make a video. I'm not the type of person who likes to point a camera at himself for 20 minutes and talk about how great he is. That's just not me. I like to keep it real, you know? It's by my little eye. Looks like a streamer. It is a streamer. <laughs> with no engine I don't think that will have any resale but Alan if you're watching please let me know I'm pretty sure streamer with no engine though is pretty much worthless to anyone I'll take it why not I found something Where I found that copper that time. Let's see what this time. Oh, where is that? Oh. It's a bit of metal, I suppose. Whoopsie. Oh, must be the nosy fox. <laughs> Next, if there is any. Well, that was Wollstone. Dead. Absolutely dead. Not a sausage. Not a sausage. Well, that was Mary Oak. 
Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Wow, you guys missed just what happened just then. I was going through Northern Estate and some guys walked out between two cars with his sort of back turned to the road, like he was talking to someone. I've gone to flip and avoid him. He's hit my mirror. I've hit, I've hit him with the wing mirror. So I pulled over and he's come up to the window and he went, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I wasn't, I wasn't watching where I was going. I said, flip an heck, mate. You know how lucky you were. But the mirror hit him and folded back. It was a water bell end, but he was all right. It was cool about it. It was his own fault anyway. So, yeah, well, there's that. So that's a, that's a bad end to a bad day, really. Well, not quite the end, but almost. Right. Let's go and see what we can't find up here, and I'm going home. And then to the scrapyard. That's it. I'm done. Over. A few bits here. I don't know if it's scrap or not, though, is it? Got to be scrapping it, surely. Is, it? Is that part of their poles? Can't be, can it? Looks like metal. Looks like scrap to me. now <laughs> well that's swaveling done absolutely nothing so a little while ago just down here i passed a washing machine up on someone's doorstep might just drive past and uh give it a knock see if i can grab it and get out of here i'm kind of done with it to be honest with you I'm kind of just wasting time and money let's see if i can grab this anyway and see what happens there. Excuse me, mate. Is that for scrap? Is it that washing machine? Oh, no. no. All right, buddy. Yeah, that's a no. <laughs> Good job. We didn't grab that. All right, I'm going home. Right. Let's make this quick. What did I get today? I got uh, an assortment of TV parts. Uh, big deal. Uh, a hat stand of some sort. It's an assortment of metal up the front there. Uh, a strimmer with no engine. And that's it. That's what you get for three hours these days in the UK. Not a lot. Oh, if you've been wondering about my... Oh, I've also got radiators, cooker. We've got some wheelbarrows that came off a job. I've got a stack truck there of, um, of an old boy, one of the old guys. Most of this came from him. You know, a little scrap pickup that I do. So all of that came from him. Wheelbarrows came from a job. There's a boiler over there that came from a job. The barrel of copper is still full. I've actually been chopping into it a little bit by little bit. There's a boiler there. It's not a great one. It's not going to be a lead wash red. Uh, yeah. It's just a bunch of junk, guys. Right, let's go and get it weighed and paid. I'll see you at the yard. Ooh. Oh, oh dear. I've got some more, oh, I've got a cooker, a couple of wheelbarrows, strimmer, the rest, I've got a pump truck. And a bunch of clean metal up the top there, quite heavy.
That's big heavy bastards, that is. Mixed. I'm saying quarter of a ton. There's always something I miss. There's always something. Where are you? Right, so I've got it. I need to tie that down. You're weighed and paid. Check this guy out, he's come back from the scrapyard. Woo! Oh, he's proper giving it some a minute ago. He was proper, proper giving it some. Anyway, I'll stop in a minute and uh, I'll let you know what we got. Actually, I might as well just tell you. I might as well just tell you right now. It was 240 kilos of mixed iron at 192 pound 50 a ton, which gave us a final sum of 46 pounds and 20p. Right, I've got to go home, get washed up, put my civvies on. I've got to go and price a couple of jobs. And uh, we'll have a chat along the way. I'll let you know what's going on. Towards. Home. What is that and where can I get one? It says GTR. I don't know what it says. What is it? It's a GTR something. That is the tiniest little car I've ever seen. Almost. Carl with a K would love that. What is it? Scouty. Ow. Something is called a Scouty. Axiom. Scouty. Don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you know what that is. That was my first car spot. Right, well that's that done. Just been to Aylesbury to go and price a job with my buddy Carl with a K. And uh, hopefully we get that one and book it in for next week. But for now, we're going to get some stuff. It's not scrap, it's just rubbish that I'm picking up. Honestly, it's not scrap. Right then. We've got some rubbish to pick up. Me again. The 
don't. Put my hands out, you know. Bosh. Smashed the Woo! There's a bit more just picked up. Some nice brassy bits. Some nice coffee bits on there. Good times. Shout out to the fandom. Right. Scarby. Hello. I guess someone forgot to tell Tyler that I was retiring. <laughs> Hello. One more little bit won't hurt, will it? Smelly washing machine. Oh. Bloody Irish Jays. Shearing. That's a big ass bit of shearing. Um. Absolute glove. Couldn't say no.
Yo. Yo. What are you doing then, bits of scaffolding? Oh, they go back around here. Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought. Oh. Who are you then? Just trying to make the screw fix. Thanks for sticking around to help me. What? Thanks for sticking around to help me get that big bastard in there. Oh no, it's big and I don't think I'm going to get that either. Yeah, I don't have to do it straight in the back, mate. Oh, did I? So that's what Josh did. He's like, man, I can't do it. I did it if I... Oh, fuck. She's in there, mate. Beast of her. Yeah. Some more bit of metal. Is that 100 kilos? It's 240. Is that... It's 140 years. That was 240 kilos? Yeah. Seriously? Oh, it's 100 pounds, it's 100 kilos every meter. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, right, it's about two and a half. Yeah. I caught a ton then. Alright, I'm just going to screw fix anyway. I'll ring it, my baby. Alright, I'm going to leave it now anyway. I'm done here. Love, cousin. Love. Oh, in a bit. It's good, though, didn't you? Yeah, it's great, mate. Lovely, my baby. Love. Lovely, I'm impressed. See that? Love. There's no way I'd, that's caught a ton. I lifted that off the ground over there. Where's the Mjolnir? That motor's just staring at me in the face. Oh, you're one of them, are you? Defeated. Right, that's it. I'm done. There you go, that's what I just picked up. A big massive RSJ. He reckons it's, he reckons it's 100 kilos per meter. There's no way that's 250 kilos. But, shearing goes, can you get any better than that? That's lovely. In all the acros, I just bought them. Uh, it's a washing machine, I couldn't get the motor out. We've got stainless stink, still got a boiler up there, still got a barrel full of copper. Another spirit level. Uh, that's about it, isn't it? Ignore the gas ball. Yeah, just thought I'd show you a pick. I mean, it is worth some money. But, the only money it's worth to me is scrap. Anyway, right, let's go back to the office and then I'll uh, show you some numbers and let you know what's going on. Right, I've just got back from picking up Tyler's bit of rubbish and uh, I just got a phone call from my buddy Alan. He's got some rubbish for me as well. So, uh, let's go and pick up a, uh, a bit of rubbish, shall we? Do that that way. Hopefully, I'll have a video out on Sunday. Really? Yeah. Just, oh, just a little update, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to let people know what's going on. As you can see, all of this is just stuff we took off jobs. I haven't been out. Yeah. 240 kilos, man. Good, that's the thing, isn't it? Nice. No, you get more money out of that, then. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. There's money in roofing. <laughs> so much money in roofing you can actually survive on it. Wow. Whereas on like scrap metal. You can't, it's not particular. <laughs> That's it, man. Where's them, where's them dingles? Sit on, get that off. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, it's not. It's only the bottom bit. No, it's only that bit. It's for us. It's that. This is the guy. He's in the middle of the road. Take it easy. Thank you. I'll see you later. You don't feel careful. I will do.